Nigeria in West Africa and its gender discrimination human right violation around the world. Did you know in Nigeria, girl child labor is common for girls aged 5 to 16? Many girls have no power and no voice. They're treated as an object. After the owner of the object doesn't find the object worth using anymore, the owner disposes it. Many homes in Nigeria have girls forced to do chores daily, making it impossible to make time for schoolwork if their parents have enough money. The girls are trapped in domestic slavery. As Nigerian girls have a lower social status, their parents much rather have them working in markets or doing house chores rather than school. This leads many girls to become married when they are 12 to 15 years old. A lack of education for girls means fewer chances of them escaping poverty. Brief articles highlight that 40% of the primary school teachers are unqualified and half of the students who have completed grade 6 can't read, meaning the quality of schooling needs to be greatly improved. Also, many children are out of school due to the high cost of education in Nigeria. Education, Cooperation Society, and Initiative for Community Development are both great non-government organizations. Let's look further into these NGOs. First, let us have a look at the Educational Cooperation Society, aka ECS. This NGO is located at 35 Adiola Hopewell Street, Nigeria. ECS helps all Nigerians have access to good quality education regardless of their social, cultural, religious, or ethnic backgrounds. This organization has many programs happening such as the Youth Leadership and Auxiliary pro Academic programs. These programs provide guidance to children preparing them for their future careers. Something that this NGO thinks that needs to be done is the following. ECS thinks that all girls in Nigeria should have the freedom of all human rights, including education. The Midpoint Educational and Leadership Center is a new project by the Educational Cooperation Society, intended to assist Nigerian students with moral, academic, and character formation. We can help the Educational Cooperation Society by volunteering and helping the organization but be sure to contact them first. Here's the phone number you can use, 234-802-317-8246 in Nigeria. Second, let's take a look at the Initiative for Community Development. This non-government organization's head office is located on Akambaga Avenue Junction, Barry Delta State, Nigeria. ICD is helping people in Nigeria, especially children, to access their rights. The following are some things they're doing to help. They promote access to education, maintain and upgrade educational facilities, raise opportunities for women gender issues, improve communication through technology and promote peaceful coexistence and dialogue. Their recent projects include reducing the impact of VAGW violence against women and girls and increasing the participation of women in institutions relevant to peace building in Delta State. They are trying to build on these projects. To support ICD, we can get involved with their work. ICD accepts all men and women who want to work for them and serve the community and the nation. You can get involved in the following ways, either by volunteering or donating. When you volunteer, you can research work with them and speak up. If you want to volunteer or donate, you can visit ICD offices or you can call or email them. Their phone number is 234-803-668-1396 and their email is all lowercase v-e-n-o-g-v-a-l-o-r at the date of icdngo.org. Let's hope the human violation of gender equality in education can end as soon as possible. 
Here are some facts and statistics about Nigeria's gender discrimination, especially for girls in education. Nigeria has 10.5 million children out of schools, 60% of these children being girls. Also, 70% of the poorest girls in Nigeria have never even attended primary school. Nigerian national literacy rate for women is only 56% as compared to 72% for males. About 10.5 million of the country's children aged 5 to 14 are not in school even though it is required. In Northeast Nigeria, at least 496 classrooms have been destroyed and 1,392 classrooms have been damaged, so children do not have the best workplace, which makes them want to drop out. And with that, we have come to an end. We really hope these issues will be looked at and solved in the future. Girls should have the exact same rights as boys, should have freedom from gender discrimination and get a proper education. Remember to like, subscribe, and comment. Made by Elisa Saita. Cool tube out.